up. Yeah. So hometown is a bit of a heartbreaker. Uh, what was the idea behind that? As in, like the spark of it. Yeah. So as I said, Bill, he, he played this chorus, and he said, "We don't. I don't know if it's going to be a breakup song, or I don't know if it's you know, or it's going to be like a." wanting to get back to just like the, the, the small town vibe and we thought well let's do the breakup thing well that's that's kind of a, a way to get to the, the hometown and it's, so the, the story really is if you listen to lyrics really carefully it's the the singer or the storyteller in me talking to the town or the, the actual town itself and the, and the town talking back to the storyteller but there's a, a girl and there's a, the love story involved or a forgotten love story involved there as well and, and we try we have the music videos coming out soon for it as well which we try to paint that picture but it was a really it was kind of a really fulfilling right because we were there's there's a lot to the story it wasn't just because some songs you write the song right and it's cool and it could be a party song and there's not some, look let's face it they're not the deepest in deepest and most meaningful tunes right but this one has a lot of meaning and, and imagery, I think is the key word. And mm. I just felt, I, I listened to it a bunch of times after it. And when I recorded it, Jared, my producer, did such a great job at capturing that with the production as well. So I'm very proud of, especially being my first co-write in, in Nashville, very proud of how it turned out. Yeah, yeah it is a slower tempo than a lot of your material. Mm. So it, it's, it, and we can really hear your voice in it. So I'm wondering if you're intentionally mixing up your sound that way, or it's just how that song came out. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to write any ballads over there at all, because I don't write that many ballads anymore. And the last ballad I released was really "Dear Dad" on Father's Day in twenty twenty one, I think that was. So, but we had this song, and I just said to Karen, my manager, I said, "You know, I really like this song. I want to release it." And it's it's interesting, Sophie. Like you know, every artist, whether they admit it or not, um, when you release a single, you you're wanting to put it out in a world where it's gonna hopefully get on a playlist. So hopefully you do this. So hopefully you know, let's let's be real. But I was just really believe in this song. I just wanted to release it. Um, I, I you know, and what I've learned over time is that if you believe in the song and you're super proud of it, at the end of the day, that that's what really matters. And this song had such substance to it. And it, it just turned out that I, let's, let's do another ballad. It's been a while. And um, so it was kind of not so purposeful, just the fact that the song kind of led me there, I guess. So when you said you don't write ballads so much anymore, is that just because it's not a style of music that you you really love yourself or it probably doesn't work so much live? You play quite a lot of festivals and I would imagine that up-tempo songs are your bread and butter for those festivals. Yeah, the, the live show and what I do live definitely kind of um, leads me on the path to what I release because you want to play as much original music as you can, but I'm high energy. I, tr I want to be high energy. The other thing, 